you've achieved, what most of us achieve when we reach our 50s and 60s. Or some of us even, you know, we leave work or we retire, uh, we still haven't achieved most of the things that we're supposed to achieve. Uh, you know, or when you are provided home, mm -hmm. by your company, or in a you know, yeah, most, most of when you live in the quarters, because we lived in the, you know, cafe quarters for mm -hmm. quite a fair bit, a few years, eh? uh, we live in the quarters from one grade to another as the family increases and then you go to a bigger, um, mm -hmm. you know, house. And you're moving around in those uh, quarters. And the tendency for you to not to think of your dwelling, it's very right. But I think I'll see you back okay, I don't really need a house, I'm good here. Uh, it's affordable, practical, and we are good. Well, if you continue to live in a quarter, now quarters of uh, provided quarters or provided house, and then you realize, no, I need to move on and I need to find a place uh, for my family. But if you sit in a quarters and then you already have a place, uh, that can go on rent and they can stand on its own. So when you're ready to uh, come into your place, it's already been paid off. So the process is shortened mm -hmm. and uh, it becomes faster. And not only that, the rent coming in can help to pay the loan uh, for that property that you have established. And if you are not in the quarters, you can rent deeper, um, same thing. Because now there is a government assistance uh, during this uh, a pandemic. We can the first time buyers or first time home buyers. So try and find those information and look at the strength of your earning and see how far you can go. Don't allow this time to go past you because uh, the condition that we are facing right now, it will end one day. And our team, you know, like uh, they have uh, sort of uh, make it easier um, for you to survive, make it easier for you to be able to move on with your life. And while it's there, I grab it and take uh, ownership of it and make use of it. Uh, because this is no other, you know, prime time than this. Eh? And when you plan, uh, most of the time, uh, we want to see money, you know, word of notes in our wallet all the time. Um, you know, you feel good when you know, okay, I have money. It's in my wallet. Um, for me, I'm different. I, I always walk around with an empty wallet. I hardly have anything in, a, in my a wallet. As I was working, growing up, um, it's either for me, it's either it's in the bank or I'm investing or sitting to the things that I'm led to sit to, towards maybe in, because I believe in God, I'm a Christian, and I believe, you know, the power of giving, and I believe in tithe, and I believe in those kind of things. So my investment only comes into two ways. One, I invest into the things of God. And second, I put it, you know, I put it in the bank. And it goes back to you. Uh, maybe you're working. Uh, you don't have a bank account. This will be the time uh, to open your bank account. And uh, we will share. We usually have this uh, Kingdom Economics on Tuesday uh, on the uh, Business House uh, Virtual Bible Study. And that's when we always share anything to do with the economics, you know, how you manage your finances or, or how you can come out of your mortgage or how you can break free uh, from your debt and uh, poverty and lack. And one of the things that we've shared last uh, Tuesday, you know, I emphasize on the fact that like most of the time when we write our list, you know, on how you write your shopping list, flour, sugar, uh, chicken, uh, you know, lamb neck or whatever that you write on your list, uh, that list. It may change and differ according to the uh, the need every week or every month or every fortnight according to uh, how you do your shopping. Uh, but we were trying to teach them try and buy in bulk, like when you get a 10 kg uh, of One each. Deck, uh, yeah, and then you fill up your container, yeah. uh, get a container, proper container, label it and fill it up. And then you ration it. You ration your, your food and you write your menu for the week. A volano no menu. Like on Monday, okay, like for us, okay, quickly. Like for us, on Monday we have... Uh, boiled chicken soup, just plain boiled chicken soup with potato and vegetables uh, with no kakarandi and no rice. So everybody used a potato within their soup to be a day doy. And then Tuesday, we tried to have mele and miti uh, with uh, tuna. And that's uh, very economical because it's just get the mele. Now we're planting mele and just need the coconut and the kumquat to do your miti and uh, get your tuna. Or alternatively, if you have fish, uh, then we'll supplement it with fish. But my children love their tuna. And then uh, on Wednesday, Wednesday, that's when we have our program for the family. So our program starts from the morning. And uh, Wednesday morning, it's like a hot tea breakfast. Mm -hmm. Everybody, you know, enjoy their breakfast, whatever breakfast is going to be. Uh, and then, yeah, happy <laughs> breakfast. And then we have dal and uh, porridge for the dinner. And then Thursday is another day of dal. And uh, Friday morning, like we've started now, uh, we have uh, a yeah, salad bar, like uh, a sandwich bar. 